theaters. I'm in the beautiful West Hollywood, about to head to Balami Hair. See if some random person who has healthier hair than I do can donate their long, luscious locks. When you're this peroxide, your hair breaks and frizzes and looks like crap. Chandelier is so cool. I may or may not swing from it at some point. Do you have like bug spray? We do not. Not this month. Next month we will. That's 20 inches. 20 inches and very thick. And then it's a go. Yes. Swings are everything. Oh, excuse me. What I'm doing right now, I section in the middle of your hair and then section that across. What I do is a little bit of hair spray. So what you do is Well, I've just come from Malibu. It's like, you know, to spin off and salt to sea air. <laughs> and waves appear. Thank you. And the waves, you know, it's just natural. I just wake up like this every day, darling, of course. Pay no attention to the genius behind me. <laughs> Like effortless, but it takes a lot. Right, like yeah. to make it look like, like yeah. just wake up. I just wake up, guys. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. It just feels like sweater weather. Mm, that's weird. Mm, ooh. Mm, I think she really likes that. Today I'm gonna go see Dr. J again. And he's gonna give me an adjustment. Doesn't make that noise, that's for sure. Tonight I am headed to USC to give a speech. Back in Dr. J's office, ready to get this. I don't know if this helps or makes it worse. What I do love about this office, he has the best motivational and inspiring quotes. We both love Dr. Wayne Dyer. It's perfect for when you lie down. Should I pretend I'm asleep? Oh, there's Gil. Oh, there's Gil. I'm gonna crack it out. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you try. I'm not. I'm not very well, strong. <laughs> I'm like, how hard am I trying? Come on up. No. But don't oh. worry. I can't feel a thing. <laughs> okay. Foot relax. Ooh. Just you I'm like, I can tell I'm like you're clenching. just a bit tense, right? <laughs> so, so this, this is. A... <laughs> you guys knew right now. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. Yes. <laughs> oh, so it's not supposed to be like that. Watch this. If I touch your bicep, no big deal, yeah. right? Exactly. Okay, so what we're going to do here. I'm petrified. Petrified. But I'm laughing. Yes. <laughs> and her lower back is messed up. It's, it doesn't want to let you. Yeah. No kidding. I'm like, I was almost going to be like, you know what? I'm good. Can't feel a thing. Let's go. These hips don't lie. I was like, it's You're okay, you don't have to come back, it's fine, I'm chilling. Like oh. I want to hug head down and breathe in nice and deep. All the way out. Like that, fall back, touch it. Oh. Little by little it's coming. <laughs> amazing. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. You are amazing. You're amazing. You're, Thank you so come much. On. You're very welcome. <sighs> what a blessing, yes? Yeah. Come on. Now you're realigned. Well, guys, I'm here at USC about to give a speech to the security booth. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually here. To I don't really know why I'm here, but I have a feeling I'm going to be talking about you guys. All right, we'll just wing it, see what happens. I don't know. Are you part of a fraternity? Are you like Kappa Kappa? <laughs> Alpha Kappa. <laughs> More entertainment industry kind. Yeah. Samantha's uh, awesome. a singer. Oh, so. really? Yeah. Awesome. I saw social media as a way to be able to share my music and like 
because obviously that dream of being signed and having a whole lot of money thrown into you is not really how anything goes anymore. Kudos to you guys that are following your dream because I like I basically just ran away from home. I was like, okay, bye. I'm just gonna see what America's like, and I never went back. There was a girl named Whitney who had written this rap battle called the Princess Rap Battle, and she thought that I kind of looked like Elsa and knew that I was a musician. It was shared a lot on Facebook, and then on um, did you win the rap YouTube. battle? Okay. I mean, spoiler alert, Elsa won. First thing you want to see is something funny, taking themselves too seriously, self-deprecating humor, so that you can go, oh, it, yeah, I I can relate to that. Um, like doing the comedy and being in this viral skit to like making your own personal brand, like you as your brand. Whenever I do comedy, it's it's always a weird, quirky version of myself anyway, like a, an exaggerated version of myself, or it's actually an honest story of something that's happened a little more exaggerated. Rather than going, how should I brand myself to be different? It's like, you're already different. So just accept everything about yourself and your flaws, like actually highlight those. Cause art is not about capturing beauty. It's about like, showing the truth and how funny truth can be. <laughs> I'm known as a viner and I don't know why because I didn't really do many vines. I got on so late, like right before vines uh, shut down. There's, there's like a, little, <laughs> a compilation of funny like vines with know, just, just you. It's just vines, right? So, and, and I'm, I'm like, like oh. why? And it's literally like They're an hour long. They're actually just my Instagram and, videos. And it's, <laughs> it's all skits of you. I'm like, oh, she's a viner. So like, I guess. I don't know why they keep, I feel like that's a title that they've kept maybe since Vine, mm -hmm. but yeah, I wasn't really on Vine. It's cr I don't know. It's not translate, it's like open boobs. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to be a surgeon? Is that what you're saying? So you keep saying um, comedy, um, does that ever hold you back? Well, I've, I've always been a comedy kind of person. So like, I was like the funny fat friend in elementary school. I used to be like obese and I used to say, well, I had to rely on my humor to make friends, so so that was like that was always that was always my thing. I like I was always the idiot trying to be funny. For me personally, I've always loved theater and um, and music, and people have constantly said, "Well, you there's a clear divide in branding," and I'm yeah. like, "Not with social media. I think you can be everything. Okay. If you if you want to do everything, then do everything. If you keep going back to that and realizing when people are writing to you saying." you made me laugh today, or I was having a really horrible day and then something that you posted, it really lifted my spirits, or I really love that song, it reminds me of my boyfriend when he first kissed me. It's like, those are the reasons why we actually do what we do. Uh, oh, the hoverboards. The hoverboards, <laughs> yeah, those are my roommates. They, um, they, they created the hoverboard acrobat stuff. Your intellectual property is very valuable because there's always people out there your ideas and I tend to like feel very down on myself a lot and go ah no, no one's really that interested or nah it's, it's not really anything um, but try and like rise above that stuff and just keep creating stuff to make people happy. A lot of people who are you know with these big influencers they sort of don't want to really promote you are accepting that it's just going to be a businessy relationship eventually or are you trying to keep that friendship also? I mean I'm first and foremost for friendship but I mean it, everyone's different like some people are like totally with their friends and that's how they want it to be and then other people are like this is my business it's money no no offense it's not personal it's business that that's that's the thing that i find really hard i yeah. hate confrontation yeah. i hate like i hate that stuff so much <laughs> but people they will get to a point where people will because that we're just in a world where people will just take and take and take and people just don't realize sometimes thank you so much no, for having thanks me. for having yeah, me of course, please. Right. Yeah, thank you. Oh <laughs> However, uh, like, like, yeah. like, okay. like, can I just speak at our little reach meeting? Woo! So good. I know. I'm proud when it comes to my kids. This was $70. I, think, I mean, I'm always I'm down to be down. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you, Mackian, for having me. I just want to say, Katya is an amazing person, and I can see her doing lots of big speaking gigs. And this was one of the first of the many that you're going to do. So I hope you enjoyed oh, the experience. Thank you. What an amazing 
exciting, fantabulous, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for being a part of it. Thank you, Annika, for being a psycho dog. Psycho dog. She's a psycho dog. Post notification shout out goes to Eden R. You are amazing. I love you so much. Thank you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications for a notification shout out. I shall shout you out, Eden I love you, Cartieras. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Mwah.